My name is Patrick Forrestal. I'm a researcher based at Johnstown Castle. And uh, today we're looking at some information around different uh, forms of nitrogen and their relative performances and uh, benefits. So, uh, much of the straight nitrogen that's used in Ireland currently is calcium ammonium nitrate, and calcium ammonium nitrate is 50% ammonium and 50% nitrate. Um, and there's also urea, which is 100% urea. Um, urea hydrolyzes over to ammonium quite quickly, um, and the issue with urea is that we can have a variable amount of ammonia gas loss. So that's a bit of a challenge with urea. So ammonium and nitrate um, are taken up by plants, and some urea can also be taken up. Um, and we've been doing work in Johnstown Castle over the last uh, number of years looking at um, different forms of fertilizers and stabilized nitrogen, um, including urea stabilized with a urease inhibitor, NBPT. And essentially what that is doing is it's reducing the loss of ammonia gas from urea and making it perform as well as calcium ammonium nitrate. And that's what we see over here on this uh, little uh, graph here, which shows uh, the relative performance of the different uh, forms. So um, in terms of cost, obviously urea is a winner because it's, uh, it's the cheapest form. Calcium ammonium nitrate is a little bit more expensive. Um, and urea with NBPT, that urea is inhibitor, um, is a little bit less expensive than calcium ammonium nitrate. What we see in terms of yield is that urea NBPT consistently performs as well as calcium ammonium nitrate. It consistently has nitrogen recovery that's equal to calcium ammonium nitrate, um, but it's a little bit better in terms of the greenhouse gas emissions. It's better in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, which can help us on the sustainability side. So, so what we've seen is that urea with NBPT performs better than calcium ammonium nitrate in terms of the greenhouse gas emissions, so that can help us uh, on that sustainability side. Um, and urea NBPT also, that urease inhibitor, solves the ammonia gas loss issue of urea, which is its uh, key weakness. At this time of year, which would you encourage farmers to use more can or urea or urea NBPT, or is there is there a difference? Yeah, so what we saw in the tri trials was that um, actually the yield performance of can, urea and urea NBPT applied under the same conditions was quite similar. Um, the issue with urea is that you can have a variable amount of ammonia gas loss from it, and that is driven by weather conditions. Um, so if you've got conditions occurring where um, rain is expected, particularly within the next 24 hours, uh, urea can be a, a good option because you know that that ammonia loss is going to be reduced. And what I tell farmers is that if you've got uh, a pallet of urea in the, in the shed and, and a pallet of, of, of can, you can back up to one or the other depending on what the weather conditions are going to be doing over the next 24 hours or so. Um, so um, if you want to pay or if you choose the urea with NBPT as the insurance there, you don't have to worry about that ammonia gas loss issue. But all of them are options. They're, they're all options. Just there's a, perhaps a little bit more management uh, required uh, for urea. But of course, it is a cheaper form of nitrogen. Um, Thank you very much, Pat.